Hi, Christina. Thanks so much for joining me. Um, I would love for you to tell me where you were uh, before you found us and the workshops. Tell me a little about, about where you were on your journey. Yeah. So I actually have been teaching Pilates for about seven years. And I started, I was certified through, um, you have Equinox out there, right? In London. Yeah. So I worked there, uh, was certified through Matt, went through Peak Pilates and then the Bazzi program. Um, so I was just, I mean, I've just been teaching and continuing my education and taking workshops every year. I mean, have to take continuing education workshops, right? Uh, but at the same time, I mean, I just really enjoy it. I would do it anyway. So um, I've been, I've been, I guess I have more um, specialty populations now. My clientele's age is older. So mainly women who come to me many years after, you know, something has developed, whether it's a, you know, shoulder injury, scoliosis, um, you know, the pelvic floor dysfunctions. And so for me, I want to make sure that they're getting the best, right. When they come to me that I feel educated and confident. So I was just, I was looking, but sort of not looking at the same time. Right. And then Holly, uh, one of her posts had come up, I'd followed her for a while and it just came up and, you know, of course we're all, we're sitting around and I was like, oh, what a great opportunity. So I was just, whoop, just <laughs> it's like, let me sign up. And so that was kind of, that was, it was just sort of fate how that all came together. So. Amazing. And what were kind of the key things that you would say the workshops helped you or enabled you to overcome? Yeah. So I definitely feel as though it's made me a more confident instructor and in being able to walk them through um, both exercises to look at, I don't want to call them areas of opportunity, right? And then, <laughs> yeah. and then just feeling yeah more confident in having discussions outside of the studio with other individuals and um, being able to attract a certain clientele. Um, and I definitely, yeah, I feel like it's impacted my teaching a lot in the sense of I've adapted my instruction and cueing, which has been nice, um, but for classes. So, and I, I can see that it's resonating better with the students now too. So that's nice. Amazing. That's awesome. Um, and if you had a friend or a colleague that was perhaps pondering some of the workshops and maybe sitting on the fence, what would you say to them? I would tell them to do it a hundred percent, hundred percent. I actually had put something in my newsletter and I had some Pilates friends ask me about it. So uh, yeah, a hundred percent. I just, I feel as though, I think you have such an extensive background uh, given your physical therapy and your Pilates. And so, and that's a, that's a rare combination, at least on this side of the pond uh, to find that. And I just, I loved, I love your cueing. I love, I was told and completely engaged for the two hours. And I should note to whoever was watching this is that, you know, I had to watch the recording because of the time difference. 4 a.m. was a little early for me to get up and jump on. I tried, I tried the first weekend, but, um, and so I was, you know, I, you get concerned with virtual learning that, you know, you'll do a little bit and kind of let it go. Um, so, it, well, I did like that you was like, look, you have 24 hours to watch this video or before it self-destructs. Um, but I did feel, I felt really engaged. I was doing the exercises, even though it was just me, you know, walking through them. And yeah, I, I left feeling really good about what I had learned and being able, it wasn't too overwhelming. You know, a lot of the times we go to these week and long workshops and it's you on Sunday you leave and you feel like your brain got smooshed <laughs> so it was it was you know easily digestible so i mean 100 percent would tell people to sign up for these workshops and get that deeper layer of understanding of anatomy and fascia and all of that so amazing christina thank you so much and i hope to see you again soon yeah thank you